Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Twan. I'm back with another video. Today I'm finna show y'all how to make beats like Wheezy. I got this crazy beat I made from scratch. I'm gonna show y'all how I made the sample and the beat. If you wanna download my latest sample library, link will be in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Run up my IG, link will be in the description and let's get straight to it. Wheezy out of here. Okay, so the first thing I started, I opened up an analog lab and I picked this Habit Arpeggio preset from a Louis Flynn analog lab bank. So shout out to Dude Clay. I'm pretty sure this was a MIDI from his Lovecraft library, but I did add some like few notes and change up the chords a little bit but yeah basically So that was without any effects. Now I added a half time. I added a stereo one imager. I added this EQ to cut some of the highs out. I added another EQ to cut some more highs. And then I have this EQ automation right here that I'll show you guys exactly what it does a bit later on. So with the effects. Mm, that's very hard that's very hard then what i did i routed it to this bus which is my reverb bus with this waves abbey road chambers reverb and i picked this snare room preset and yeah with the reverb it sounds like this and then i went into contact i went in plastic ghost piano i picked my favorite preset which is twin peaks and I basically copied and pasted the same MIDI. Now for this, I didn't have no like counter melody. I just had the chords. And here's what it sounds like. And then same thing here. I routed it to this Breaver bus. Also, if you're wondering why I use a reverb bus instead of like putting reverb on each individual sound, it's because I only want to use one reverb for all of like my melodic instruments so that it all sounds cohesive and as if it's like all in the same room and it all blends in together. So finally, I opened up this analog lab. I picked this home preset from Kiri, Kiri Gerbs, I think that's how you say his name. Very fire bank though. And I pretty much copied and pasted the same MIDI again. And yeah, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> For the effects, it has the same exact effects as the other analog lab sound. So the halftime, the stereoizer, and the EQ, and it's again routed to the reverb bus. And here's what it sounds with effects. Next up, I added this accent from the layers kit by Loner that I pitched to the key of the sample so that I added no effects. Then I added this accent that I reversed. And for this, I just added some simple EQs, cutting some highs and some lows, and yes, yeah, cutting some highs again. And then I added this texture from an XY Nothing one-shot kit. So yeah, I wanted to use this as like a percussion loop, so I chopped it up a little bit. As you can see, I got this very repetitive pattern. And then I added just a band pass narrow EQ just to cut some highs and some lows. And yeah, that's basically it. I arranged the sample right here with different patterns just so that I have some patterns like one octave higher, one octave lower, just to bring in some variation. And finally, what I actually did, if you remember this analog lab sound right here. So if you remember the second analog lab arpeggio, what I did, I actually rendered it out and I reversed it and added some effects to it. I added a half time where I turned down the mix an EQ to cut some lows, and another EQ to cut some highs, and here's what it sounds like. And I thought that gave it a perfect texture for the B part, and so here's the EQ automation I was talking about earlier on. This is basically gonna come in just to, you know, add some variation, so that I can pitch one of the sounds up, but cut the highs out so that it's not too squeaky and just, you know, simple stuff, really. Then I rendered a full sample out, and I added this compressor just to glue everything together. I added a spin with this blurry room preset where I turned the mix down to like 10%. I added a aquarium preset. I added a J37 from Waze with this aquarium preset. Again, where I turned down the mix. And then I added a wow control from Goodhurst with a good cassette preset. Just adding some coloring and a bit of detune. And this is the final sample. <laughs> I 
I actually forgot to say, but I used the pitch wheel on a master to pitch it down 200 cents. So here's what it sounds like now. <laughs> So that's it for the sample, now let's get on to the drums. For the drums, the most important thing if you're trying to make wheezy beats is really the bounce. First I added this clap. Then I added this hi-hat pattern. Very simple, nothing too complex. Then I added this percussion. You really need to play with the pockets and place your stuff very strategically so that it fits well and that it just complements the bounce. Then I added these like little snare rolls. I added this other snare right here. Then I added this open hat on the one. I layered it with this other open hat. And finally, we have the 808. Look at my effects, look at my effects. Look at my effects. If you're still struggling to mix your beats in 2022, you're not that guy. You're that guy. Okay. I have a simple EQ cutting some lows out of the melody, and I have a soft clipper on a master. The rest is all leveling. Make sure your 808 is knocking. The rule of thumb is that this bar right here should always kind of be over zero. That's like personal preference. That's where I've seen it, where it like hits. And yeah, just don't overcomplicate it, just leveling. And one thing I did have in this intro right here is this like little snare roll. Obviously, you know, Weezy, you love the snare roll. So yeah, basically that's the whole beat, you know? So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Sample library, link is in the description, free download. Run up my IG. And thank you guys a lot for the support. You guys seem to really enjoy the Q-Beats video I posted like two days ago. So I really appreciate that, but I definitely have some more bangers on the way. Just stay tuned, subscribe, and stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.